I'm sending you a short video of the lesson that I want to do tomorrow. I want your honest opinion if it makes sense or if it's confusing. So please, I would really appreciate it if you took the time to watch this video and give me some feedback. So here, the first thing that we're going to be doing is working on finding the equation that represents this linear relationship. So what you're going to do first is you're going to find a unit rate. And the way we find a unit rate is we first have to identify at least two points. Because that's all it really takes. So I'm going to go ahead and identify this point here and another point here. Notice I picked nice, perfect ordered pairs that occurred in intersections. Now what I'm going to do is find the change of y in comparison to the change of x's. So here I'm noticing it go, it's going up 1, 2, 3y for e per 1, 2x. So I'm going to go ahead and put 3y per, using a fraction bar, 2x. Now this is the same thing as 3 halves y per x. If you're wondering how I got that, all I really did was I separated 3 halves to get this here, and then, and then I did y per x to get this statement right here. Now, the next thing we're going to look for is our initial value. So real quick, let's jump back to seventh grade. Before, in order to, for it to be a proportional relationship, it would have to be linear and it would have to go through the origin. This would be a proportional relationship if and only if it went through the origin. So if I drew the same exact line but made it go through the origin, this would be a proportional relationship. In fact, I would be able to determine the equation of this orange line. It would be y equals kx. It would be in that form. So I would go ahead and replace k with 3 halves. So it would be y equals 3 halves x. That would be the line of this, sorry, that would be the equation of this orange line. However, we're not finding the equation of the orange line. We're finding the equation of the black line. So here, the only difference is there is a shift. This orange line is shifted 1, two, three, upwards. Because it shifted three up, okay, I am adding three to the original equation. So my equation is y equals three halves x plus three. The only difference is the fact that there's a shift of three upwards, okay? So, but let's look back at our initial value. Our initial value is starting right here which is at 0, 0,3 instead of 0, 0,0, which would normally be for the origin of a proportional relationship. So here I would say at x equals 0, y equals 3. I even color-coded it for you. So now that there we have it. We have our equation right here, and this is how we were able to get it. Now let's take a look at our next example. Here we're going to do the same thing. We're going to find the equation that represents this linear relationship. So what you're going to do first is we're going to find the unit rate. So in order to find the unit rate, we need to find two ordered pairs. Nice ordered pairs. So I found one here, and I found another one here. So what you're going to do now is you're going to find the change in y in comparison to the change in x. So here, I'm going to see that it's going down 1, 2, 3 and write negative 3y. Now let's compare it to what's happening in terms of x. It's going over 1, 2, 3, 4x. So I'm going to say negative 3y per 4x. Now this is equivalent to negative 3 fourths y per x. So again, how did I get that? I went ahead and separated it here as negative 3 fourths, and then I said y per x. So now the next thing we need to do is find the initial value. But before we do that, I want you to, again, draw in what we learned from seventh grade. Here, this would be a proportional relationship if and only if it went through the origin because it's already linear. So I'm going to go ahead and draw one exactly like that where it is a proportional relationship. It's the same line except it's actually going through the origin. If this was the case, the equation of the orange line would be in the form of y equals kx. The equation of the orange line would then be y equals negative 3 fourths x. But 
we know that's not the case. In this case, this line, the black line, has been shifted. In fact, let's see how much it's shifted. It shifted down one, two altogether. Since this time it shifted two down, okay, that is going to be a minus two instead of plus two. So I'm gonna go ahead and put minus two here. So it's the same exact form, except the only difference is we're subtracting two because we saw that there was a shift downwards. So my equation would be y equals negative three-fourths x minus two. Now let's take a look at our initial value. Our initial value starts right here. It's at zero comma negative two. So here we would say at x equals zero, y equals negative two. So hopefully this lesson has helped. If not, please give me some feedback. Was there anything confusing? Um, I would truly appreciate your honest opinion. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this quick video. And until next time, bye.